rider size when we play in Nashville. Pacific. You guys have played with some really different bands, ranging from Marilyn Manson to even the Dictators. <clears throat> what, uh, what next, you think? I don't know. Uh, God, hopefully something good, man. Hopefully no more bad bands. Hopefully don't. Oh, do you guys, you guys. We like both those guys. Yeah, Marilyn they're both, both and Dictators. Why not Marilyn Manson wind up converting us? And it's not like we li we've good. never listened to them since oh, really? then, but, you know, we totally enjoyed that tour. It was great. So what inspires your songwriting? Uh, boredom, you know, mostly. Desperation, boredom. Uh, I don't like being bored. For Scared entertainment me. purposes yeah. only. Gotta have something to think about, <coughs> you know. Um, I don't know, I can be, I steal shit from everywhere. I steal things, everything from, I steal from everything, obvious shit like ACDC and Black Crows to, to Chuck Berry to Al Green, Ike Turner to all kinds of shit. I have tell you tons and tons of music we steal from. I mean, <laughs> Steal from a lot of old soul records and funk records. Steal from a lot of uh, 70s rock records, obviously. And obviously there's a punk bass, too. It's to it. Like, me and the drummer grew up like other bones a lot. So, uh, any, anything good, man. I swear to God. I can hear almost anything. But, yeah, I like to write a song like that. You know? We wrote a song called High as Hell because oh, we were touring Marilyn Manson and he had these drug songs. And they went over so well. Fuck, I'm doing drugs. I should write a song about that. You know? but, I mean, Nick, I mean, what's there to say, you know? What's the name of the new uh, full length that's coming out again? It's called Say Something Nasty. It's on Artemis Records. It should be out towards the end of May. Or look on, uh, you know, Audio Galaxy or Win Amex or something like that. If you want to download a song or two. Yeah, we don't give a shit. Yeah. I don't give a shit. Then that you'll, I, th I think that you'll, everyone will go out and buy it once they hear it. So. Yeah, plus, like, the best song on the album is Keep On Fucking, so <laughs> it won't be on the radio. Yeah, well, it's going to sound like shit. <laughs> <laughs> call, 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 call the radio station and ask anyway. Yeah. Right now. What was said before, it's going to save the fucking world. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for everybody. It is. It's all about love. <laughs> Just in the most, any fucking non-intellectual way and fun most party and have a good time way. Yeah, right. <laughs> So when you guys were first learning instruments, what kind of what kind of stuff were you playing? Were you playing? He was the playing 70s? I was playing like uh, open chords. I awesome. played like rockabilly, and then I started playing Ramones. Pretty much stayed there. That and Chuck Berry. Yeah. Pretty much. And she was playing metal. 
or whatever. Oh, Zeppelin. Zeppelin blues. I'm starting to Zeppelin. Uh, Jimmy Page, Angus Young, Ted Nugent. BB King, uh, Chuck Berry, uh, Keith Richards. My guitar heroes, I love Hendrix. I love, uh, you know, it might not be guitar, but I love the uh, old acid music of the 70s, early 70s, Pink Floyd. Uh, I like Janice Ian too. And I love Janice Ian and I love <laughs> some Joplin. Joplin can <laughs> fucking kick it. She really can because she just wails with the guitar. She talks right along with it. So, anybody that wants to listen to anything that has to talk with a guitar, well, there you go. You've got it right here. <laughs>